How is it going guys? It's Poetry Sutton. Welcome back to another episode of the Europa Universalis 4 Take That Von Habsburg campaign. Um, so I've had a chance to look at some of your guys' comments and I have started, um, started to, uh, well this is a new, new, this is the start of a new session. I cannot speak. Um, yeah, welcome back. I don't really remember what was going on besides that fact that, we're, that we are at war with Serbia, which is a good thing. Uh, also, I feel like this is lying to me. I thought we had a higher percentage chance, but apparently we did not. Um, that is okay. That is okay. Um, let's go ahead and siege down some Serbian land right now. And, uh, oh, there's your army. I forgot about, I didn't realize you still had your army around. Huh. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, push through here. Hmm. Army maintenance is quite high. Why is our army maintenance so high? Because we we have a lot of cavalry and stuff, and we're reinforcing, I guess. Yeah, we should be losing less now. Yeah, it'll come down. All right, Ottomans declared on Georgia, which is good. I would much rather have them be expanding eastward, which I can't stop anyways, than uh, expanding into land that I could potentially be eating. That's, that's the only fort that we have that's not defensive besides our capital fort, so... I'm okay that they with them uh, doing that, but I just hope we can win this siege before they win that one. And that's not gonna happen, apparently. Um, you don't have a siege pip. Neither of our guys have siege pips, apparently. Hmm. So we gotta be careful here because they might come back and attack us. All right, we won the Siege of Visoki. Yeah. So I think what we do now is we go ahead and peace out Serbia. Or, not Serbia, Bosnia. Um, we take both of these provinces. Not a whole lot of rest of expansion. Well, hold on. We Actually, we can just check first and see how much the whole deal will take. So Serbia plus that and that. How many people would join a cluster? Oh, right. yeah, no one pretty much. Um, so I think that what we do is we go over here and we peace out Bosnia. And I will take, I'm going to take this stuff. Well, do I really even want to take that stuff? Probably not, actually. Tell you what, instead of doing that, let's go ahead and say um, we could make them release Montenegro. No, I don't want to peace out Serbia. I want to peace out Bosnia. Okay, yeah. There you go. Just uh, do that sort of stuff. War operations. Give up claims there. And give me all your money. There we go. Alright, Bosnia is out of the war. We actually got... We got Black Flag, which is actually good, actually. Uh, believe it or not. I say, I say actually too much. That's one thing I've noticed. I've been like... Trying to keep track of what words I say too much, you know, sort of the, everyone has a word, or lots of people have words that they sort of like say unconsciously for a lot of people, it's like, or, um, and stuff like that. So anyway, so I've been, I've been trying to like, well, I just said like right there. I've been trying to keep a better idea of, a uh, better count of what words I sort of say when I'm not thinking about it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that's what I've been doing. That's all. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, it's hard, you know. You start realizing that you say words without even without even thinking about it. But it's it's fine. It's not really a big deal. I've been trying to say actually less because I actually say it a lot. <laughs> that was on purpose. Um. So, anyways. Okay. Cool. We got our siege back. Let's go ahead and come over here. Let's also get these guys working on these sieges of Serbia now. Serbia and Byzantium, are they at war with other people? No, they're not. Okay, I was gonna say, like, where, where'd their armies go? Well, they must just be hiding out somewhere. In any case, we're, uh, we're just gonna be chilling here. People are saying um, that they were annoyed by the fact that um, when you have... Uh, Janos Hunyadi, I believe is his name. Hopefully I didn't butcher that too much. When you have him as the uh, ruler of the country, how you can't declare any wars, even though with most regents you can. At least now you can. 
Um, and I thought that was uh, that was something I was like, yeah, you know what, that's a good point. Why is that the case? But um, we were talking about in the comments, and people were saying, yeah, well, it's probably just you know, the same thing. The same person in the comments was like, you know, it's probably just for balance. And I think you're right. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the main reason, just balance and stuff, because otherwise, otherwise, hungry would be ridiculously strong. All right, so we lost, um, we actually lost an army there, or uh, na our whole navy there. But you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Am I right? Hmm, we won that siege, which actually makes it so that they are... Oh, no, they didn't actually engage. They, uh, peeled off first, which is probably good for them. Hmm. So we could probably go over there and stack wipe the, uh, the Byzantines, I think, if we play our cards right. Uh, wait, we don't have a siege general, so what we should do is try to get one. Oh, it's actually time for points, isn't it? Yeah, for all the points. Okay. Like to do that, and then I'd like to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, this, and then why don't we give you some land this time? So like that much. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Get some admin points. Actually, I want to do that, and it just expired, so that works perfectly. And yeah, look at that. There you go. Uh, we got a pretty good general. That's a that's actually quite a good general, but he's not that great for uh, for sieges, unfortunately. I'm curious. Hold on, let's see here. So why don't we let them try to come siege? I want I actually wouldn't mind catching them in a in a bit of combat. Uh, actually, here's what we do. We come over here and we see what we can do. Yeah, they're running. They realize that they are uh, in not the greatest position, huh? I think we're just gonna fight them anyways. Like, manpower-wise, we're doing all right. I mean, I'd like to just peace out the Byzantines, but they're not gonna peace out with us and at any time at this rate. Uh, I don't really wanna fight them, though, if we don't have to. I don't know. It's a little bit of a tricky war, but not super tricky. Um, in fact, it's, it's actually kind of relatively easy, except for the fact that to really, like, push either the Byzantines or Serbia out of the war, we have to, like, figure something out. Okay, um, like, we could go siege down. No, we can't reach there, so that's why they came to us by sea. That makes sense now. Um, I want them to become a vassal of mine, as we already discussed. That's annoying. They're just gonna be sitting there basically until we do something apparently all right let's go over here I think we're gonna have to attack the uh, attack the Byzantines actually here's one thing we can do we got those guys let's go and uh, switch out our cavalry might as well I suppose hmm one more month we'll wait till we get full morale and then we'll just smash them and we should be able to stack wipe them I don't think they have anywhere to go so we'll uh they're probably rivaled to, to Venice, so go ahead and uh smash them up. Yeah, there you go. Easy money. Pretty easy indeed. Um so that's a good stack wipe. It should maybe now yeah, I was gonna say might make it so we can peace out, but no, not yet. However, it's it's still good. Certainly not a bad move to do that. Okay, well I don't know what we do then. If we're just gonna sit here forever, then that's annoying. Oh, look at this, the reforms of Math Matthias Corvinus. Okay, cool. Um, I definitely wanna take some administrative stuff. Um, actually, I don't even know if that's necessarily the right choice, but we are behind on that. Uh, that's the one tech that we haven't taken, so. Uh, Academia Istropolitana. Okay, in Presper was the first University of Hungary. Okay. One production, prestige paper. Do you, dude, there's like a whole bunch of really cool events that give you a lot of benefits. We are also an intricate intricate web weaver. Not amazing, but so, you know, better than nothing. Why not? Hmm. Production efficiency down is, yeah, whatever. Um, okay. I mean, I'm just gonna sit here basically, Serbia. So, I mean, why don't you just peace out, dog? Okay, um, in any case, hold on, that was the tech there. Uh, we aren't gonna be getting this for a little longer, so I think we, uh, 
Let me go ahead and wait. Uh, I think we just go ahead and take the tech now. And by the next tech, we'll definitely have the Renaissance. Um, uh, that one is alright. I, I think that we might go Protestant, actually. We may. I'm not sure, but it might be a good idea. I'm kind of thinking. That I'm kind of leaning towards maybe trying that. Um, it depends. We're going to have to figure that out. Um, but, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll make a decision once it gets time to do so. Hmm. But right now, I'm kind of leaning towards it. I'm like, you know, maybe it would be fun to do that. Also, Austria doesn't have the strongest rivals, or allies, rather. Um, Poland is pretty strong. We have more than 10, uh, more than 10 things. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We have more than 10, uh, more than 10 favors of them, so I feel like we might just go ahead and and, uh, try to go to war with Austria if we can. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so there we go. This is what we needed to do before. Oh my god, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So we're gonna come over here, and now that we have them out of the mountains, I'm willing to chase them down a little more aggressively, and, uh, and we can push them into one of these forts, essentially. They're probably just going to sit there, actually, but we'll see. I'll fight him in the woods. I'm not afraid to do that. Not the greatest engagement, but whatever. I think it's, uh, it's perfectly fine. There you go. And now you have them stack wiped, which means they are basically, they're basically done for, so... I don't know, Protestant is just so strong if you can get a center of reformation. If you can't get a center of reformation, it's a little bit harder of a sell, especially with a large country, but I don't know. It's interesting. We'll see. Um, so we definitely want to do this. We're going to go and vassalize you, and uh, yeah, do we have... We have Serbian cores. Now that's something I completely forgot about, is the fact that we actually have Serbian land. So that might make them a little bit uppity. Hmm. That actually kind of worries me, but I think we're going to try it anyways. I can't afford to be eating all this land, basically. And, uh, yeah, I, f I feel that we can, uh, we can at least try this, so. Uh, hold on. I am going to keep getting this, and I don't want to be hearing about that, so I'm going to turn that off. We could take the next military ideas. I feel like we might as well. National unrest will be helpful to get. Also, feel we should take a uh, take away some nobility land, since they're apparently uh, ungrateful. Oh, that darn it! Didn't do it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and improve relations with them whenever we can. Hmm, so they are probably... Okay, so they force vassalize. Have a core is only minus 20. What about for the... Okay, so they don't actually count that as a direct uh, liberty desire thing, which is actually something I was worried about. Uh, I'm glad that they don't. So that's good. That should... That means that basically we don't need to worry about that. Uh, and in fact, I think what we can do is we can go like that and that. And now they're loyal, even if just temporarily... So at the end of next month, at the next tick, what we can do is we can go ahead and royal marry them? We can't? Why aren't you, uh... Oh, you know what? It's the opinion. I think the opinion has to be higher before... Yeah. Okay, that's annoying. But, um, still, I think this is good that we did this and vassalized them. Um, especially because we can feed them Bosnia. And possibly Ragusa, although Ragusa is apparently allied to the, or not allied to, protected by the Ottomans, which is a thing now. They start that way, so shouldn't be too surprised. Uh, Catholics in Bohemia seek our aid. Apollo, um, I don't know. I mean, we want to. Oh wow! Now that's interesting, though. So you're saying that we could get permanent claims on where? On Brno, Olomuc, 
and the Cilicia area. That's pretty interesting. That's quite interesting. And they get rebels either way, which is funny. Um, I mean, why wouldn't I do that? There's no real downside to doing that, so. So we get permanent conquest against uh, Bohemia. It's quite nice. Look at that, we have claims on everything. I don't want claims on this anymore though. How do you get rid of claims? I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and deal with some of these freaking nobles or whatever. You know, it's kind of bad that I keep fighting rebels, but it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. I don't care that much, honestly. Okay, Ashra's embraced the Renaissance, which is good. Are you kidding me? They still have enough? Oh my god, they do. Luckily, it's pretty easy to fight them like this. Okay, Manpower is doing all right, although it's not amazing, of course, but it's all it's, it's doing all right. Hmm, we're not actually a great power right now. I'm a little surprised by that, but not super surprised at the same time. <clears throat> Let's see, what are we doing? So Vienna has it now. Hopefully, it won't be too long before we can get it. Colonialism is definitely not going to spawn anywhere near us, but, you know, the best would be like Aragon or, you know, Castile. I think we go ahead and, uh, let's get a National Manpower Modifier guy. Improve Relations is also good. Let's just get a few guys. I think that's fine. Okay, we lost conquest against Serbia, which is good, if anything. Okay. So I want to keep checking these opportunities here. We can't get Poland in, but if Poland wasn't in this war... Oh, I forgot we're allied to Castile. Um, if Poland and Brandenburg, that's right, okay. So if Poland wasn't in this war, then we could get them to join, and Ferrara and the Platinum wouldn't even defend them. So that's actually what we should look at. So once Poland is done with the Teutons, we will be looking for opportunities. Hmm. We almost need like another fort here somewhere, but there's not really any defensible land, which is unfortunate. Do we have the ability to build uh, forts? Yeah, well, we should definitely build a better fort in Pest. I feel like that's a good idea. I'm very glad that we were able to secure all of Serbia from the Ottomans. Hmm. Or, you know, not from the Ottomans, but before the Ottomans could secure it. It's quite good. Okay. We've got quite a spy network on, uh, on Austria there, huh? I suppose the one thing is that going Protestant will sort of, uh, it will make stuff harder. Like, it'll make it harder to eat land from Austria, so we gotta be careful with that, I suppose. Hmm. Something I didn't necessarily think about. And we're not gonna be going long term, so maybe it would be more trouble than it's worth. Since we are mostly just focused on the achievement itself in this, uh, in this run. We'll see. Okay, so there we go. Uh, Serbian separatists, apparently, we have. Okay. I really just want to marry them, but... Um, yeah, I believe that you can't actually get them to be... Uh, loyal, even if they have less than 50 liberty desire. They won't be loyal if they have over 100%... Um, Whatever it's called. Look at that. Bosnian separatists? Huh. They're gonna lose, but, um, you know, whatever. Um, hmm. I wanna click on Corfu. Do you have Liberty Desire? No, unfortunately not. 
Venice took over Milan as well, which is fairly historical. Uh, normally they do that, and I believe that did happen historically. Wasn't that like... I think that was one of the main reasons for the War of the League of Cambrai, or whatever. I'm pretty sure that was a uh, one of the leading factors that they like conquered Milan, and then like France and the Pope were like, "Yo, this is not okay. They're getting too big over here." So then they they like were like, "No, don't do that." Something like that. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Whatever. Um, I would like to go to war with Venice soon enough, but I don't know. We definitely want to take Dalmatia and Croatia in the war, but we might also want to claim Venice itself and try to take that, although I doubt we'll be able to, really, so. We'll see. Uh, this is one instance where it actually does help to have the spy network, uh, ruler. Also, having a careful heir is good. I forgot that we have a, such a good heir and such a good ruler. It's quite good. Okay. Actually, we should make our... Oh, we do have our heir is the, is the one who's in charge. I thought it was our leader. Uh, it's much better to have our heir, because our heir is slightly worse. But he's still pretty good, so I'm okay with that. Let's see. I want to keep checking on this. No more claims we can get on you, so... Let's go ahead and uh, look at the war screen. Hmm. No. Darn it. All right, Poland, I really want you to get out of that war quickly, you know, but you're fighting both of the orders, so maybe not gonna happen right away. Um, I'm going to do that. There you go, Serbia has a claim on this, so we can feed them to Serbia eventually as well. Should also go ahead and like send them a gift, honestly. Like I said, they're a little uppity, and I'd rather them not be uppity. The sooner we can get them to uh, to be loyal, the better. Like there you go. Hmm. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary in most of the uh, most of these areas. Oh, hey, there we go. The Duke of Burgundy died. Eh, crap. And Austria inherits, of course. Darn it, that's annoying. All right, so Burgundy's dead. Austria inherited them. Our heir just died. Bohemia is declared on Bavaria. A lot of stuff is happening. Hmm. I really don't like the fact that Austria got that land, but not much we can do about it. So that's unfortunate. Hmm. We could get someone from Castile's dynasty on our house, uh, on our throne, if we play our cards right. It'd be so cool to get a PU in this campaign. I haven't got a, I haven't gotten a good PU in a while. So I think we should enforce the religion soon. Um, placate once and then enforce religion. There you go. So now they are Catholic. They should be converting that land. I don't know if we even. Again, I, I feel like maybe we just stay Catholic. Like, what does Catholic get for bonuses? Tolerance of true faith, tolerance of heretics. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. We probably won't be affected by the Protestant Reformation too much. Watch that. It won't, you know, you know, watch me say that, and then it all of a sudden spawns in Bohemia. There's been uh, more ridiculous things. Bohemia often flips to Protestant, although they normally don't start it. Interesting. They're attacking Alsace. Cool. Um, I don't know if I care about that. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. Laszlo. It's a pretty good heir to the throne. Uh, yep. There's Alsace. The war there. So we're definitely not going to be able to avoid these wars. Well, actually, you know what? We could. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting... Wallachian separatists again, so we're gonna come over here and try to avoid you But anyways, all right, I do need to end this episode here though So thank you guys for watching and please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more come back next episode and We'll continue on with the take that von Habsburg campaign. See you next time. Bye. Bye